Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video I want to show you how to design your own uh, application icon and uh, how to implement that uh, same icon in uh, Android Studio project. So first uh, we're going to start by designing our application icon and uh, we're going to use a vector software named Adobe XD. So uh, this software is uh, free for download so you can download that on uh, official Adobe XD website and once you install this uh, software this is the window which you're going to see so uh, we're going to select a custom size for our template and that is uh, 512 by uh, 512 so uh, you can type those values here and just press enter okay so uh, now you're going to see here this uh, artboard and let me switch to this uh, layers panel okay okay so first uh, we're going to start by adding some colors to our project so I have already chose uh, two main colors for my project and I'm going to copy those colors here and just uh, add them in this uh, color palette so press enter click this plus icon and let's copy this uh, second color as well Control C and here Control V to paste that press enter and click this plus icon and we're going to add the white color here as well all right so for our background uh, we're going to choose a linear gradient so here select this artboard press uh, this fill and let's choose a linear gradient so uh, select this first circle here and uh, we're going to choose uh, this uh, color and for this second one we're going to choose uh, this second color okay all right so now i'm going to move uh, those two lines or those two circles somewhere outside this uh, artboard so we can have uh, some uh, better shade of this uh, gradient okay something like that all right so now we have the background for our uh, for our application icon and now let's create some um, logo for example so for creating some logo i'm going to choose a text tool here and i'm going to uh, type uh, capital letter P so now choose a select tool and I'm going to increase the size of this font so just uh, hold alt and shift and just drag that so uh, the size of this font can be 250 for example for the color we're going to choose a white color and for the font we're going to choose a SF Pro display uh, for the style we're going to choose a bold okay so let's place it here and now uh, right click then path then convert to path and now uh, I'm going to speed up this video just a little bit so I can create some uh, different shape of this um, P letter Uh, okay so this is uh, the shape which I have created so this is just of course an example and you can design uh, whatever shape you want and uh, we can uh, even improve this uh, furthermore but uh, I'm going to leave that uh, as it is for now and uh, now what I'm going to do I'm going to copy this artboard one more time so just hold alt and shift and drag this artboard on the right side so uh, one artboard will represent a background so let's rename this to background and we're going to remove this letter from here because this one will represent just a background and uh, this second one will represent foreground okay because this is a foreground we're not going to need a background so I'm going to select this fill color and just uh, decrease the opacity for uh, this color okay and this will have only this letter P so uh, now what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to uh, select this background and foreground. I'm going to click Ctrl E and I'm going to export those two artboards as a SVG file, okay? And just click uh, export and uh, there it is. So uh, let's get back to our Android Studio project and here uh, we're going to select file, then new, file new, then uh, image asset. And here you will see that for icon type we're going to select uh, adaptive and legacy so uh, we have foreground layer background layer and some more options so for the foreground layer uh, I'm going to rename this layer to IC launcher foreground number two and uh, here for the path I'm going to select this uh, foreground so I have exported those two uh, vectors on my desktop so let me uh, navigate there okay so foreground SVG 
and it will look uh, like that okay and let me choose a uh, background so select this background tab uh, let's rename this to uh, launcher background number two let's choose uh, this background now okay let me just navigate to the desktop okay so background and this is how our uh, application icon will look like so for example we can uh, resize uh, here a background but we're going to leave our background uh, on 100% uh, and uh, our uh, foreground we can also increase the foreground icon as you can see here so we can uh, choose uh, whatever uh, size uh, we think it's best for our application and I can set that for example to uh, 91% and now you can see those examples of our application icon okay so uh, next thing uh, just click uh, these options and you can also here uh, select some uh, some legacy icons for uh, APIs below 25 so, uh, for those devices which have uh, uh, API less than 25 you can choose a shape circular square or whatever you want for now it is a square and I'm going to leave that as it is okay and uh, now just click next and here you will see that uh, some existing files will be uh, overridden by this operation so just click finish okay and now let's open up a resource file then this mip map in here uh, we see some uh, different icons here so let me open this uh, IC launcher and IC launcher round and you will see that those two icons are now applied and uh, when we check this uh, drawable we will see also this uh, IC launcher 2 and IC foreground uh, uh, number 2 okay as you can see though this is the background and this is the the foreground icon okay and those two are combined in one and we are getting those uh, as you can see here in this uh, IC launcher round we can see the foreground and the background and they are in those two files are just uh, linked here and when you open up uh, Android manifest file you will see this uh, attribute icon and round icon and as you can see both of those are uh, linking to our mip map uh, IC launcher and IC launcher round and those are the two files and as you can see both of those files uh, are having a uh, background and foreground uh, attributes and they are both linking to our uh, uh, drawable IC launcher background number two so now when we uh, run our application let's see if uh, that icon uh, will apply okay so let's uh, go to the menu and there you go so this is our test app and this is the icon so in this case uh, we're using uh, API level uh, 29 and uh, this uh, device is using uh, round cornered icons and as you can see this uh, icon is uh, automatically applied to uh, to this device and uh, it looks uh, very nice so this is how you can uh, design your own uh, icons and uh, apply them to your uh, android studio project so uh, that will be all for this video uh, thank for watching please uh, like this video if you find it helpful of course and uh, see you in the next one